For tonight, a local nonprofit is looking for answers after they say catalytic converters were stolen from the vans they use to transport people with disabilities. Good evening, I'm Mike Montecalvo. And I'm Shannon Heggy. Westerly police say three converters were stolen, but the executive director of the Frank Olin Center says they just learned about a fourth this morning. This is devastating to the nonprofit, which often picks up their disabled clients from their homes. 12 News reporter Sheena Loschuto joins us now from Westerly with the story that's new tonight. The executive director here says four vans are now out of service, and these are vans that would usually be out on the roads helping those living with disabilities. And that to her is the most heartbreaking part of it all. This is the sound of frustration. The result of a stolen catalytic converter. Yeah, they, they're really important tools for us in the work that we do. Four vans at the Franco Lean Center are now out of service. Three are lift vans catering to the individuals they serve. Well, the Olin Center has been in existence for almost 60 years and we help people with intellectual or developmental disabilities to be active members in the community. Westerly police confirm they're aware of the situation and tell us they know at least three converters were stolen. Executive Director Ruth Tarechkova says they were hit over the weekend. When they went to go start some of their vans, it was clear something was wrong. You wonder, I wanted to come out and put signs on the vans and say, do you realize who you're hurting? You know, please rethink this, but because who does this? I mean, it is a population with ha that has enough challenges. Why add to that burden? Terechkova says they've been scrambling, operating with fewer vans. It's slowing down daily operations. They often pick up clients straight from their home. These vehicles help us accomplish that to help people meet their goals and meet their needs. She doesn't have any security cameras, but that's something she's looking into. The next step is getting the vans fixed and back on the road. So again, another expense on a nonprofit that's just trying to do good work. Westerly's police chief says this is not the only place impacted by this type of theft either. We're still working to find out more information about similar reports in the area. Reporting in Westerly, I'm Sheena Lushuto, 12 News.